Texas A&M is looking for a new starting quarterback for the first time in several years as Kellen Mond has moved on to the NFL and is looking to be a high round pick. And with that position wide open, we have several competitors that are looking to take grass for the starting role. And with spring ball starting this week for the Aggies, I think it's a good time to dive into some film of each quarterback that is going to be competing for the starting job, mainly Haynes King and Zach Calzada. With all that said, before we dive into that film, you know the drill. If you like any quarterback related content, content. If, if you like any quarterback film breakdown like we're about to do here, please consider giving us a subscription. Give us a like. Give us a comment below. Tell us if you like this type of videos or who you want to see next. We also have uh, several videos of how we assess and screen quarterbacks in the weight room and how that transfers to the field. So with all that said, Let's dive into the, into the video. So we're going to break down Haynes King first, and we just have his high school film we're going to break down. I know he had a few uh, plays and clips against Alabama, but not really a ton to, to, to get from there. So we're going to break down some high school film, and then we're going to break down some film from Zach Clazada, and we are going to look at a few of his clips from 2019 season when he was actually uh, playing with A&M and got in some games, and then we're going to look at some high school clips as well, and we're just going to kind of uh, compare the two. Uh, both very talented quarterbacks, good arms, are mobile enough when they need to be uh, but let's just look at some of the game film uh, from each guy and kind of see what they bring to the table and you'll notice before each clip I have like a, a quick text that describes what's going on in the play whether it's a roll right read left cover to drop whatever it may be uh, I, I have a, a text before the video and then I describe the video a bit as well so if you like that let me know if you want if you want me just to talk and no text, uh, just that's great as well. Just let me know in the comment section below. And enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and dive into the film of Haynes Keen first, and then go ahead and the film of Zach Clazada after. Here's a great demonstration of King's arm strength, his ability to push the ball downfield and slide up in the pocket. So something he does extremely well is his footwork in the pocket, but his eyes remain downfield and he's able to step up and what we call climb the pocket and deliver a good throw. So let's go ahead and watch the sideline view, then the behind the center view as well. Watch him step up in the pocket. And he comes, so he's, his initial read is to the left. So he comes off his initial read, he's able to find his, his receiver to the right running a seam route. Good arm strength there and climbing up in the pocket. Let's watch this view here. We'll be able to watch his eyes. He's looking left, looking left. Not there. Slides in the pocket, finds him here, and delivers a good ball. A lot of good qualities there in one play. Again, great job sliding and stepping up into the pocket and delivering a good deep ball, leading his guy to to go get it. Just throwing the throwing the ball where space is, but I just love his pocket presence here and, and his ability to deliver the ball with kind of chaos going around him. Just going to watch this play. We'll watch two angles here, sideline view, and then we'll go behind the center view. Good play action. Steps up in the pocket. Eyes remain downfield. Good ball. Let's go ahead and watch the end zone angle here. We're going to really be able to see him just step up in the pocket here. Watch his eyes. Eyes, 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 eyes. Balls over here. Good stuff, Hans King. So here's a good throw from, from Haynes King on a deep corner route from the left hash, throwing to the, the right side of the field, the field side. And this, again, shows his arm strength, uh, but shows his accuracy, uh, able to throw from one side of the field to the other side of the field. Let's go ahead and watch this play. We'll watch two angles here as well. Not bad coverage either, just a great ball. We'll watch the end zone angle as well. Watch from the left hash. Just a nice, smooth, easy delivery. Good ball. So here's a, a quick clip of uh, Haynes King. And uh, this is not something that, that coaches want to coach up in a player, but I figure I'd just throw this on the tape for the simple fact it'll give uh, A&M fans some flashbacks of Johnny Manziel just kind of making plays whenever there's no play. So we'll go ahead and watch real quick. Um, but yeah, just, just showing a knack to make plays. Just by time, by time, by time. Throw it up. Here's this guy right here. Yeah, again, not something you want to coach up to do. Um, let's watch it one more time. I think it's a little closer angle here. <clears throat> Again, not something you want to coach up to do, but uh, being Texas A&M, we figured um, might as well show, show some, some Johnny Manziel style football here and there. So here's another great example of his ability to escape 
pressure and to kind of make, I hate using this term, but make like another Manziel type play. Uh, just, just making something, creating something when there's nothing there and just using his legs to beat the defense. Let's go ahead and watch this play. We're going to see him roll out to the left, break a tackle, come all the way back to the right. That's awesome. Look at the speed too. He's able to pull away from that DB, from the DN. So here's a clip uh, of Haynes King demonstrating his athletic ability and his uh, just pure ability to get out of pressure and, and make the defense pay with his legs. We're going to see him break a tackle, and then we'll see him uh, break towards the sideline and get a big play here in a second short. We'll go ahead and watch this play here. But again, this just demonstrates what kind of athleticism you're getting with Haynes King. He wants to throw, but if he needs to, he can break the pocket just like that. Then he shows speed to get the sideline and uh, pick up a, a big gain on a second down. Let's watch the end zone angle. Watch pressure gets to him. Able to break the tackle. Good job. Obviously not going to do that as much against SEC defense, but still shows a good job to be able to get out in the pocket when he needs to. So here's a quick clip uh, of Calzada against Lamar a few years ago, throwing a touchdown pass. and uh, Again, it's, it's Lamar, but still you, you're going to see him do a good job uh, escaping the pocket. I stay downfield delivering a touchdown. Uh, let's go ahead and watch the clip here. Able to step up in the pocket, eyes downfield. Good ball there. So here's another throw from Zach Clazada from 2019, excuse me, uh, playing Texas State. We're going to see uh, good arm strength from the right side of the hash, throwing a, an out over here that's going to end up being a first down. Um, again, against Texas State, but uh, still a, a good a good throw uh, against a D1 team from 2019. Let's go ahead and watch the play. Quick out. Shows good arm strength to beat the, the ball, beats the uh, enclosing DB there. So here are two back to back plays from uh, Zach Calzada and High school, and we're going to show. We're going to see him throw a strike right in the hole here. Shows good arm strength, good anticipation, right, and is able to fit the ball in the hole. And then we're going to see a good job of him throwing on the run. It's kind of a a little Manzel like play. I figured I showed some some Haynes King Manzel type play, so I might as well uh, show for for Zach as well. Uh, again, not something you want to coach up, but you know, just having that knack to make a play is never a bad thing, as long as you don't make a turnover, right. So let's go ahead and watch the first uh, two plays here. Watch him throw the strike right here in a skinny bang route on a post. Nice job fitting the ball through. And then we're going to go see him roll to the right and throw it across his body, right? Not what you're supposed to do, but gets the job done right in that hole. Two good plays. So again, just a few quick clips from each guy. Not, nothing super in-depth, but I think more than enough for us to have a decent understanding and a, a decent feel of what each guy brings to the table and their skill set, right? They're somewhat similar guys. Um, Haynes King's probably a bit more athletic and can do more with his legs, but Calzada throws a, a, a damn good ball. Um, and so... From what we hear from people more into a &M football than I am is Haynes King seems to be the favorite right now. But again, that's why you have spring balls, why you have fall balls, why you have the competition. And we'll eventually we'll see who can implement what Jimbo wants them to implement. And whoever is able to do that better will be the guy. It uh, will, will be an extremely exciting competition to uh, keep up with. And whenever the, the competition is over, whenever spring ball has been officially over and after the spring game we'll do another video and kind of break that down uh for everyone who doesn't know it's opening day for mlb y'all go ahead and watch some baseball if you like this video give it a sub give it a like if you like this channel subscribe let us know what we can do better we'll continue to improve and we'll see you next time